Today on CBTV Idaho, Idaho Falls Parks and Recreations has plans to construct new playground equipment and they want your input. We're also going to discuss construction projects that began in Idaho Falls neighborhoods yesterday, as well as a public meeting happening this week to discuss a new pool project in Ammon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Tyson and you're watching Construction Business TV, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Welcome back everyone to CVTV Idaho. My name is Tyson and I'm your video journalist for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If this is your first time on the channel. Construction Business TV is your go-to resource for news on all the construction and development projects that are happening in your local area. We're going to start this off as we always do with a local construction job post lead. So first call Jewel has an immediate need to fill five different construction positions. They're looking to hire five different licensed electricians. All these positions are located in Idaho Falls. They are all full time and they have a salary range of $60 to $1,000 a year. If you have an interest in this position and you want to know more about it as well as how to apply for it, you can find a link in the description below this video. For our first story, we're going to discuss a public meeting that's happening this week to discuss a new uh, pool project happening in Ammon. So the city of Ammon is hosting a public meeting this week to discuss the plans for a new public pool. Thursday the 28th at 7 o'clock p.m. you can attend a public forum to discuss survey results, options for new aquatics facilities, costs, potential locations, and more. The meeting will be held at the Ammon City Building at 2135 South Ammon Road. If you like the content that I provide for you every week, I hope you'll show your support by hitting the like button below the video. You can also share this content with friends and family and follow us week to week every Tuesday at 4 o'clock we come up. You can subscribe to Construction Business TV on YouTube. We're also on Facebook. You can also find us on Instagram. Let's hit story number two. We're going to discuss the construction projects that began in Idaho Falls neighborhoods yesterday. Continued construction improvements began yesterday in the North Highland Park neighborhood of Idaho Falls. Crews are replacing the water line and resurfacing the road on Jefferson Avenue between Science Center Drive and Micro Street. While every effort is going to be made to maintain access to all properties during the project, some temporary road blockage will occur. The water line work is anticipated to be completed in April. Around April 1st, Contractors will also be making sidewalk improvements for the neighborhood. This project will install sidewalks and drainage swells for portions of Canyon and Jefferson Avenues and a sidewalk connection between Elmore and Fremont Avenues. Sidewalk improvements are expected to be completed in May and as part of the sidewalk improvements, contractors will need to remove some trees and relocate a few mailboxes. Throughout the project, contractors will notify individual property owners, so they're asking you to please uh, use caution around construction workers and follow traffic control signs for modifications to traffic flow or plan alternate routes. For our final story, we're going to discuss plans that Idaho Falls Parks and Recreation has to construct new playground equipment and the need they have for your community input. So the City of Idaho Falls Parks and Recreation wants your input on upgraded playground equipment at South Capitol and 20th Street Parks. Community members will be able to share what playground equipment they want to see in each park. Community members can provide their input on a city produced website. The link to that website is in the description below this video and they can do so until Sunday, March 31st. So South Capitol Park is going to have five options and 20th Street Park is going to offer six options to choose from. The options presented are renderings of what the actual playground equipment will look like. The colors on the playground sets can be customized and will be picked after the final designs are chosen. Equipment will arrive in approximately seven to nine months. The Parks and Recreation Department hopes to have the new playground equipment installed by the end of fall of this year. So you can stay tuned to the Idle Falls Parks and Recreation social media pages as well as Construction Business TV to see the final decisions made, progress on the projects, dates for when the equipment will be installed, and any additional information. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. Thank you guys again so much for your time and your support of the channel. If you haven't yet, you can hit the like button below the video and you can follow us every Tuesday at 4 o'clock. We go online on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can subscribe and follow us on all three of those channels. Thank you guys again. Drive safe.